Hi guys, this is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, and I do mean over the top beautiful day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization. We are looking at 48 degrees outside here on Thursday, June 17th here in uh, outside of Ithaca, New York. 48 degrees, fine day, so I have to get outside and do some planet nibbling. We're going to I'm in, a, I'm in a race with Jair Bozo Nero to burn down. We're going to do some burning of the of the planet here today. But before we get out and set fire to the world, here on this 48 degree day, um, I just love the irony of reading this. <clears throat> Latest news out of NASA. This, this uh, video should take about five minutes, short and sweet. NASA says Earth is trapping a, quote, unprecedented amount of heat warming, quote, have we ever heard this before, faster than expected. The planet is warming faster than expected while it is 44 degrees on June 17th. <clears throat> Take it away, NASA. Since 2005, the amount of heat trapped by the Earth has roughly doubled according to this newest study by NASA and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration researchers. This is contributing to warming oceans, air, and land, the scientists write in the study published this week in the journal Geophysical Research Letters. The magnet, this is a quoting the article, quoting NASA, no, this is uh, lead author Norman Loeb, quote, the magnitude of the increase is unprecedented. The earth is warming faster than expected, close quote, faster than expected. Uh, and then they link you over to <clears throat> abnormal temperatures are baking the western U.S. in triple digits. These heat waves could become the new normal. And, of course, record-breaking heat wave puts strain on states' power grids. The only... Uh, power grid being strained at Bugs in a Jar Farm is from the electric heater. And then, let's see, San Francisco is preparing for, well, north of San Francisco, preparing for possible fires, power outages, and heat waves. All right, but back to the main story, the, uh, the bigger picture. Using satellite data, the researchers measured the planet's energy imbalance, which is the difference between how much energy the planet absorbs from the sun and how much is radiated back into space. If there is a positive imbalance, the Earth is absorbing more heat than it is losing. In 2005, there is a positive imbalance of about half a watt per square meter of energy from the sun. And in 2019, the positive imbalance was one watt of energy per square meter. If you want to figure out what all that means, explaining what that means. This is Gregory Johnson, a co-author of the study. Um, quote, it is a massive amount of energy. There you go. Okay. He says it is equivalent to everyone on planet Earth using 20 electric tea kettles. Electric key kettles at the same time. 
the team needs to conduct more research to determine the factors behind the increase, but there is evidence that a rise in greenhouse gas emissions and decrease in cloud cover in sea ice could be part of it, <clears throat> as well as those cyclical variations in the climate, which of course uh, the climate change deniers would attribute it all to. One thing is certain, Johnson said, quote, we, meaning humans, are responsible for some of it. And then they go back into California summer of heat, power, and fire woes arrives early. And then, of course, we have our new tropical storm called Debt getting ready to slam into the coast. Oh, boy. Anyway, it goes on and on, guys. But uh, we have some fires to start outside of Ithaca, New York, to send some of those uh, greenhouse gases into the air. Get out there and enjoy the fires while you still can. You cannot come join the fires. You need to stay here because I do not want I do not want a little dog burning up or dying of smoke inhalation. So you're going to stay here and guard the house today. Bye, guys.